Hola, it's Matthew here again uh, with a, an update, a new news flash updating on the current situation around holiday lets and tourist rental licenses. You may have watched our previous video about uh, Grenada causing some consternation in the local area uh, following Malaga's announcement that they won't be allowing new holiday lets. Grenada have followed suit by preventing new applications. And over the weekend, things seem to have taken an even, or say, a more sinister turn, um, particularly if you do have a holiday let. So here again today with Lucy. Thank you, Lucy, for joining us. Um, tell us what's happened over the weekend, in particular with, with Barcelona and their bombshell. Yeah, bombshell news from Barcelona this weekend, as well as different things popping up all over Spain, mm. to be completely honest. It's been, um, it's been a busy few weeks. It's going to be a busy few weeks up to come as people start having those plenary meetings before the end of July, because we're going into the tourist season. Now's the time, as well as obviously the legislation being discussed. Um, so Barcelona, for example, have already said that they have been declining tourist lets over the last five years quite heavily. They're saying around 90 to 95 of those that are actually presented have not been approved. But the huge bombshell that we've actually received recently is saying that in 2029, they're going to ban tourist rentals on well, flats is what we've heard. Now, will that extend into other buildings? It might do. Um, but yeah, Barcelona is saying that they want to scrap the, the tourist license completely, which is. Yeah, a wild I, I saw. <laughs> uh, they've said 10,000 uh, tourist licenses will be revoked yeah. at the end of 2028. What? That's it, gone. So the end of tourist licenses in Barcelona, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Potentially, definitely. And, and some other places seem to be following suit now. As we mentioned in the last video, the domino effect, once mm. it starts, um, you can, you've got an update on a couple of other locations for us. We do. So we have, um, for example, Seville are following suit kind of with Granada, and they're doing a total or temporary prohibition of the activities at the moment. It's frozen um, until that's being investigated. Malaga um, is also now pausing them. Mm -hmm. um, they've been having a few meetings with new licenses to certain areas they don't want them to exceed X amount in the area just because they feel that then at that point that would be excessive but we have seen around 150% increase over the last 10 years in the Malaga province not including the illegal registered ones which is the illegal ones are a different <laughs> thing altogether yes well Madrid on the other hand have discovered the huge amount of illegal properties that they do have as you can imagine it's the capital it's very very busy um, they are actually increasing their inspection workforce by 15% over the summer um, to do more and more in kind of investigations in that general area. They're starting their minimum fine at 30,000 euros. Madrid has done something no one expected and they released an official map of these are the tourist licenses we have registered with us. As you can imagine, that is not even half of what's in mm -hmm. Madrid at the moment. Um, so things are moving quite quickly in terms yeah. of the, the changes with holiday lets and tourist licences. We really, really yeah. have. Yeah. So, well, let's, let's keep a, an eye out, folks. We'll keep you up to date with what's happening. Um, but if you currently have a tourist licence or you are looking at potentially buying a property with a tourist licence, um, please get in touch. We'd love to help you and make sure that you're fully kept aware of what's going on mm -hmm. so you don't fall into the trap of maybe buying something that you then can't get a license on or the license gets revoked. So thank you, Lucy, and we'll keep you up to date. Bye for now.